how did you go about getting that smoke into the bottle? So I looked at this a ton of different ways. And of course, the first thing I thought was, let's make a smoky like whiskey mash. But the problem was with that is that that smoke that you taste in a smoked whiskey is, is developing over years, you know, in the barrel. It's not something you necessarily want to drink right away. And especially with Manuka, um, Manuka smoke when it's young, taste that garbage. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, so then I thought, well, the obvious next step is to smoke the botanicals, right? But when I tried that, um, and I've tried smoking a lot of juniper berries now, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. There's no smoke. It just doesn't come through. It doesn't hold. No, no. Okay. And like, um, it just, yeah, it doesn't work at all. So then I thought, well, th there's only one more step and it's to force the smoke into it. Yeah, I think I've I think I found where it's supposed to be now, okay. and it's it's this post distillation smoke. The the gin goes into the smoker, it comes out afterwards, and it tastes smoky. 